sliding, it's a homicide. <laughs> Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video now today we finally got our hands on a RTX 3090 uh, Rock Strix and a For The Win 3 3080 Ti and what we're going to do is we're going to put it on this rig right here. Now this rig currently only has one 3080 Ti and one 3070 both of them are pretty much LHR. This rig alone takes around 132 uh, mega hashes on Ethereum. Now I think there's maybe one PCIe slot left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try putting both of these onto that rig. And what I'm going to use is this thing that I ordered. This is the, it's a PCIe uh, one to four splitter. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this in the one of the PCIe slots. It can be an uh, X1 or X16 slot. I have an X16 slot over there. And from here, you can add, um, add an additional three, uh, I guess, three, three risers, uh, including the first one. So you're looking at around four. And from there, you can add, you know, multiple uh, GPUs for your uh, mining rig. Right now, I'm just going to be using two of these slots here, one for the 3080 Ti and one for the 3090. And hopefully from there, we can get this up all in running. Uh, so right now this is one, again 132 mega hash. What I'm looking at is to get at least 120 ish uh, from the 3090 and from the 38 Ti around 88. So all together we should be looking at around um, I don't know maybe uh, was it 132 hope, hopefully 340 mega hash after we put all this together. All right, so let's start off with the 3090 Rock Strix in three, two, one. All right, so this is what we have. So this is the Strix. Um, it's actually a pretty, pretty big GPU. If you look at the size of it, how thick it is uh, compared to the other cards I have, especially compared to the 3070, it's actually really, really small. Um, I'd say this is pretty much way thicker than the 3080 Ti that I have over here. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get this. Uh, what's called the EVGA 3080Ti up in uh, open right now. Okay, so we got the 3090 uh, Rock Strix over there, and this is the 3080Ti uh, for the Win 3 edition. Now, there is a size difference. I'm just gonna show you guys here without breaking it. You guys can see that. It's much, much thicker from the 3090, and it makes sense because this is probably one of the biggest cards on the market today. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, I guess, unbox the HP server power supply, show you guys how it works, how to connect it, and then get this up all in running. All right, so this is pretty much what it comes with. So this is the actual HP server power supply. This is the breakout board that you pretty much attach here. And this is, uh, I think I got like 16 of the um, 6 plus 2 uh, cables, uh, just so I can pretty much put all of them into the breakout boards each without you know having to split them like I <laughs> like I do with the uh, Corsair so power supplies. So let me just get this up all and running, show you guys how it actually works, how to connect it. Okay, so here is the HP server power supply. Uh, this is where you pretty much put your breakout board. It's gonna go like so. And again, this is 900 watts on, um, was it 120 volts if you have two 240 which hopefully I'm going to get soon uh, this can go up to 1200 this is platinum rated so uh, this is going to be a, it's going to be, be a bit more efficient um, it's going to be really efficient if you actually have 240 volts and you notice that uh, over time how many watts and stuff that you save uh, on hive OS so again just to uh, before you actually put anything make sure you see uh, all the ports, everything is proper and secure. There's nothing wiggling. Um, when you get a new, let's say, uh, motherboard, for example, or sorry, even risers, you always want to make sure the capa capacitors are uh, stable and not bent or anything. So, and I don't think there's any capacitors here, but just making sure all the ports and everything are pretty much secure. Looking at, I feel like the quality is pretty good as. Um, uh, parallel miner, which is where I got this from, they actually test it before sending it out. So there is that confidence in there. So putting this in here, uh, let's see. I heard it does take a bit of force to actually put it in. Yep. So it's pretty much secure now. 
it does flex a little bit but I feel like that's fine I've seen a lot of other youtubers uh, use this as well hopefully that's good and I'm just gonna open the cables up all right so just a quick example I'll show you guys how it works what you're gonna do is uh, it comes with a six pin hopefully it kind of focuses okay if not it's fine so it comes with a six pin this six pin goes directly into the breakout board and the six plus two pin so you're gonna have it something like this this goes into your uh well your gpu and if you want to put it into a riser you just take away this uh port and just make it the six pin and plug in the six pin into the the actual risers uh so hopefully that kind of makes sense and if you want i'll kind of demonstrate it again so this will go in here okay and this is the 3080 ti you see here it takes three uh six plus two pin pcie ports so you just put this in here and you make sure it pretty much clicks and as long as you have that that's fine you do one two three you pretty much use uh, the other two slots and then one more you're gonna put a riser over here so let's go ahead and hopefully get it started okay and before I go um, I guess plug it into the uh, the mining rig I want to show you guys the actual risers so these are the risers that you get um, from Amazon they're pretty much a U-bit risers you want to make sure all the capacitors here are you know straight none of them are crooked or bent okay and just inspect to make make sure it's you know everything looks normal uh, from there what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in the USB side here so it comes with this USB cable and I'll show you guys how it works so you plug one end I'm just gonna open it real quick so you're gonna plug one end uh, into USB okay and this is what goes into your x16 slot so the other end goes here okay make sure it's fully in okay and now if you didn't have a if you didn't have this thing right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this directly into the motherboard into the x1 slot or x16 slot right and then you're gonna be powering this here see it's a, it's a uh, six pin you're gonna take this only use the six pin portion of it and plug it in okay cool now that that's in uh, you're gonna use uh, the other I guess uh, slots for your GPUs like I showed you earlier but this is pretty much how you're going to um, power the riser so it's gonna be this uh, six plus two pin but remember just only use the six pin just forget about this for now and you're gonna connect this which is the end you're gonna put this into your motherboard now if you run out of space like what I have right now this is what we're gonna use so instead of using this I'm gonna take it away I want to plug directly into into here notice how the ends are almost uh, similar so this is what you're gonna plug into your you know x1 or x16 slot and then from there you can add multiple risers sometimes when it comes to adding like four risers here not all of them will work right so it's kind of a hit and miss I've seen uh, a lot of youtubers being able to use all four on one uh, slot and others only maybe like three working um, I, I guess it depends on the CPU or the motherboard. There's no clear-cut answer online uh, But just know that sometimes you might not be able to get all of them working Maybe you're able to get one two and, and three for example, so that's what we're gonna do for now If you do have slots again, you're gonna be using this But if you don't have a lot of slots available in my case because I have uh, two GPUs that I want to add on I only have one slot I'm just gonna put 139 here and another riser plugged into the 38Ti over here. Okay, cool. Now, hopefully the next clip I can show you guys uh, how it is on the actual mining rig. All right, guys, I finally added the 3090 and the 3080Ti. Uh, this was a 3070 and the original 38Ti from previously. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, 1200 watt HP server power supply. I'm only gonna be using uh, around 900 watts from that only because I'm gonna be using a 120 volt. Uh, this was the this thing right here. This was the um, 
one to four PCIe splitter. So that way I could, you know, add um, risers for, from the other two cards. So uh, these two for those two cards and this one up here and over there are from uh, these two cards. So I didn't plug anything in yet only because um, if I were to plug into that outlet, um, I might trip a breaker because this will take way more watts than before. Uh, so I'm just gonna put in a different room and plug everything back in. So uh, I just need to add the power supply cable along with the um, HP server power supply cable as well. Uh, turn everything on. First, you would want to turn this thing on first. And how to do that is, hopefully you can see it here. Okay, so this this is the switch right here. Uh, all you gotta do is you press it, and then you'll see that there'll be the amp reading here as well. Once this is on first, the HP server power supply, it's gonna power on these two cards first, and then uh, you would want to turn on your uh, normal PSU. The reason being is if you turn this one on first, and then this, this these two cards might not be might not be read by uh, HiveOS, and you might not be able to mine on them. So that's why I turn on this one first, five to ten seconds, and then turn that one on with a. I have a switch, so I'm just going to use that, and then uh, hopefully everything will turn on at the same time. All right, so I'm just going to put it in a different room right now, and then test it on Hive. All right, so I got the rig all set up into another room now, and hopefully it's running on a different 15 amp uh, breaker. So I have it plugged in there. And so just to kind of turn it on, I wanna show you guys, hopefully everything works out properly. So you, to turn on the breakout board first, uh, you press that button, so right there. Oh wait, I forgot to actually turn on the actual button here, so okay. So hopefully everything's correct. I'm just gonna turn this on right now. Okay, cool. These two lit up. So this is 3090 and that's a 3080 Ti. What you wanna do is wait a few seconds before starting up anything else. So I'm just gonna turn on this power supply. And hopefully I'm gonna turn on this button now. Yep, we are good to go. So all cards are now turned on. I'm just gonna see if it's gonna start mining on HiveOS or not. And quick smoke test. No, I don't see anything smoking. So I'm just gonna go back on the computer to make sure that everything is uh, done correctly and put some overclocks all right, cool. Uh, just a quick update on the mining rig. So it has been hashing away pretty steadily. Uh, looking here, we're looking at around 338, 340 mega hash. Temperatures are a bit high. Um, the 3080 Ti um, is thermal throttling a little bit. Um, so I pushed the fans to 100 on that specific 3080 Ti. That's a gigabyte one and it's still at 60 celsius so the mem temp memory temperatures are probably like you know over 100. Uh, so it does bounce around from you know 88 to 86 to sometimes even 82. hopefully when i put this in the garage there'll be no other issues again this is just how the rig looks like right now and yeah mining pretty steadily overnight everything seems good to go and uh, to kind of just recap what we did, uh, we installed these two GPUs here, the 3080 Ti, 3090. We added the uh, this thing right here. So this is the 124 um, riser splitter along with the HP server power supply. This is very, very hot actually, but um, that's just how they are. This is the uh, breakout board over here and those are all the wiring. Uh, to be honest, if I did this again, I would use this uh, again, 100%, without a doubt. It's much easier to use than the ATX. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.